what's going on guys we are currently on stockport road weather is absolutely dreadful dull and gray we've landed at burger box let's quickly sit down we'll have a look at the menu and we'll let you know what we're going to be ordering so guys i'm going to keep it real keep it 100 the only reason i've come here is because i've seen halal munchi sharuk's video on the place these guys do like a twin box meal. You get two burgers, a portion of chips and a drink for £9. I have seen now they've got a couple of different box meals here that they're doing for a similar price. I've ended up ordering a twin box meal. I've also ordered a steak box meal. And for the cameraman, I've ended up getting a loaded box which includes like a spicy dip burger. So you do get an option. Let me just quickly have a look. Here it is. So you can see here, guys. These are the boxes that they've got here. So these, like I said, the $8.99, uh, the twin box meal, you get two burgers and in there you can either get a smash party burger meal, a spicy dip burger, normal chicken burger, grilled peri burger, fish fillet and even a veggie party. So you're spoiled for choice and I think that's an absolute steal. The only thing I would say is, me personally, I think, you know, because they've got two burgers, maybe even, I don't know, maybe adding a pound extra and doing an extra chips and drink, maybe, you know, because then like that, Two people can come and they can share it and I think that's well worth it. Where can you get two burger meals with this kind of quality? Because in the video that Shah Rukh made, the burgers look absolutely banging. Hopefully, they taste as good as they look. Especially that steak in the video, man. My Leila were coming out and they were dribbling like Messi. Kasmir going boom, boom like this. There's a bit of Ronaldinho, next level techers. But I am here. We have ordered the food. Hopefully, it's going to come out pretty soon. These guys are busy. The crazy thing is they've got two entrances. They've got one at the back side of the market opposite Dean's and then they've got one on the front uh, on Stockport Road so they've got two different entrances and like Ali showed in the video where you can go through the shop as well um, we're gonna order the food uh, hopefully it should be coming out pretty soon and then we can carry on with the review as you can tell man is not starving but I'm a little bit peckish so as you can see we've already done our TikTok shots been a little bit cheeky off camera had a couple of bites surprisingly it's different these guys actually toast the bun compared to the other spicy dip burgers. The breading is kind of consistent in all the shops out there. Very, very similar. Mm. Wow. One thing I will say is that this burger is definitely different. It's not like a conventional spicy dip burger. It does have a kick to it. But for me personally, the flavor and taste of it is much more pleasing. So it's not one of those that's going to lick off shot and just burn the walls of your mouth and your lips straight away. Like when you go Shake Me, Rocco, Miami's, the spice levels there are next level. Don't get me wrong, if you're into it, if you like my Bengali dons, you get one of them ones where you like your spice, you like your chilies, then you're going to be cool with that. Don't get me wrong, I can handle my chilies. I've got a good spice tolerance. But sometimes it's good to give your stomach lining a little bit of a break. That is a good burger. I like it. Chicken is cooked well. It's nice. It's juicy. And the breading hasn't lost its texture. It's nice and crispy at the same time. So I think when these guys are dipping it, they're not fully letting it submerge in there. This is a one of those. It's a quick dip. I like that. Question is, would I come back for it? That's the real question. For $8.99, that's an absolute steal. You're getting two burgers, a portion of chips, and a can of pop with two. Well, this is, they've got like a spicy perinase, and this is like the in-house special sauce that we're gonna end up trying towards the end of the video. For $8.99, I think that's a steal. I think if two of you come, you share this between you, get an extra drink, 10 pound, five pound each. That's a bargain. This burger kind of caught me off guard. So this is their beef patty. It's similar to like a smash burger, but it's not like your standard conventional smash burger, which is really thin. This is a bit more beefier. And it's very, very salty. Mm. That crust is perfect. A lot of flavor in there. It's nice and meaty, but they have poor lot of salt on there, I'll be honest with you. I was thinking that usually when you want to get a spicy dip burger, when they bread it, they dip it into the water and they double bread it and then they fry it. Usually burgers tend to end up becoming uh, salty like that. But that chicken burger was, for me, spot on. A good quality spicy dip burger. This kind of took me by surprise. Burger is cooked well. But I think when they were adding the season to it, maybe they've added a bit too much salt to it. But besides that, still, for £9, I'm not really going to complain. Yeah, and two burgers, a portion of chips and a drink. That's an absolute steal. Wow. I need to wash it down with a good old iron brew. These guys need to sponsor me, guys. You know what to do? Let's do a little spamming section Go, get onto tiktok get the official iron brew and spam them in my one of my latest videos in the comment section ah, that was doing the view 
But check this out, we'll get to the chips in a bit. Like I was saying, the only reason I came here is because I seen Shah Rukh's video on the place, caught my eye. And you know, when you're watching my videos, I kind of do a similar thing where I have a similar effect on people, where I go down, we film the video, we film the food, we edit it, put our music, sound effects, all that on and do a voiceover. So now this is a steak box. Now this steak, I have had it off camera, it's really, really different to the standard steak that I've got in shops in Bradford. Usually in Bradford they use frozen steak and it's really thin slices, so when you're eating it's really chewy. But if you look at this steak here, it has been sat here for a while, we have been filming. Uh, it's been here for about 10-15 minutes, but still, the steak itself is delicious, it's nice, it's meaty and it's not chewy. They've cooked it. Mm. This reminds me of Baraka Steakhouse in Derby. So if you're from Bolton, you'll kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. I know them guys do, they do use the frozen beef, but still in terms of flavor, it's similar to that. Do you know when I seen this, I thought it was similar to like, you know, when you get pink tea, Kashmiri cha. When I seen this, I was asking the guy, is this like the powder for it? Obviously, I didn't pay attention to it, but when I seen it, it's like a dip, a sauce, an in-house one. I'm not really sure what's in it. Someone even said to the, I was talking to the guy behind the counter, he's like, someone thought it was strawberry milkshake. <laughs> they gave out samples of strawberry milkshake. That is a lot of sauce. Wow. That is tangy. It's got like a peppery kick to it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. It's been a while since man's done a couple of reviews in a day. Keeping it straightforward. That box meal, in my opinion, is worth it. 8 dollars you're getting two burgers, a portion of chips and a drink. The beef patty, the burger, the smash burger was chunky, it was beefy. I think they did put a little bit more extra salt on it compared to probably usual what they do. But overall, it was a good burger. What stood out for me the most was the steak, the loaded steak box. The steak was nice, it was meaty, it was flavoured well, the seasoning was on point and I enjoyed it. And you can tell it's a good quality steak in the sense of that it's not frozen. They're using fresh meat in that loaded steak box. But that spicy dip burger, it was really, really different compared to like your Miami's, your Shake Bees, your Rocco's. Definitely different. One thing that stood out for me the most was that the actual breading held this crisp and it was crunchy and crispy basically. So normally when they dip the burger into the sauce, fill it itself can get soggy. This one still had its texture, it was crunchy, it was crispy. And even the spice, it was more flavoursome, so it wasn't one of those that's going to burn the walls of your mouth and your lips. Overall, a good experience. I really enjoyed it. Big shout out to Ali, big shout out to Halal Munchi, Shah Rukh. A very good recommendation by them guys. If you're not following them, do follow them up. If you're not following me, I would appreciate a follow. Please like the video, do share, comment and subscribe because without your guys' support, none of this would be possible. Anyways guys, I'm going to lock the video off. I'll see you later. Wee <laughs> wee. Yeah.